How are my eyebrows? Can you see my eyebrows? No. Okay, that's better. Howdy folks. As you can see, I'm currently amidst moving myself out of an apartment in Brooklyn because I'm moving upstate to follow the shop. I know I haven't made a build video in a couple of weeks and that's mostly been because between my apartment and Jimmy's shop, I've had absolutely zero time to do anything else. I at least wanted to give an update to show everybody kind of what's going on. I've got 72 hours to hopefully buy a truck, drive the truck back, pack the truck, clean the apartment, drive out of New York City and show up to pick up my key from my apartment in Hudson on Saturday. That sounds like a lot to do, and it is. I'm very aware of that. How the hell am I gonna pull this off? Also, Chris Zepp's shop, the Make Everything shop, is actually a few miles from the dealership. He's got a super cool shop in Long Island, and maybe we'll see if we can fit that in. Now, there's one little surprise in here that would help with everything, and that's the fact that I've asked the dealership specifically if they could install the infinite improbability drive, because that would help immensely. You don't know what an infinite improbability drive is? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have my friend tell you a little bit more about it, or you can Google it or YouTube it, however you wanna handle it. But for now, I gotta get going to the train. I gotta be out in Long Island in an hour, so moving sucks. The infinite improbability drive is a wonderful new method of crossing interstellar distances in a few seconds without all that tedious mucking about in hyperspace. As the improbability drive reaches infinite improbability, it passes through every conceivable point in every conceivable universe almost simultaneously. In other words, you're never sure where you'll end up or even what species you'll be when you get there. This thing has the improbability drive on it, but I was told by the dealership not to try it in their lot, so I'm going to drive somewhere a little bit more quiet and give this thing a go. Here we go. This seems like a relatively safe space. There's not a whole lot of people around, so we'll give this a shot. Three, two, one, go! It didn't even work. What the hell did I pay? <laughs> <laughs> ah! My name is Chris Evieri. Uh, my shop is called Make Everything, and I've been down in this shop for a year. Uh, this is the best version of a shop that I've ever had. I'm in Seacliff, New York, which is on Long Island, right outside the city. I've been making things since I was old enough to grab Bonta Power Tools. I went to art school for college, studied sculpture, realized that making stuff could actually be a job. I started making knives, making furniture, and trying to pay the bills, and now I'm here. I made this. There's an axe over there, but it's kind of far away. <laughs> when I first opened, I wanted to make like a public shop. You know, I wanted to rent time to people and I wanted to build a community here. The focus now is on classes and getting people down here, exposing them to what it's like to work in a shop and feel the sort of creative vibe that everybody gets when they walk in this place and they're like, wow, I just want to get my hands on some material and make something. This is like the little wood playground that we have. I get local arborists and people that have trees cut down to give them to me. I load them up in the truck, bring them here, slab them, try and make some furniture and terrorize the neighborhood. <laughs> this is me. Make everything. That's my shop. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so I left Chris 
I found another quiet space not too far away from where he lives. I'm trying to dodge New York rush hour traffic, which lasts from four o'clock until, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. And right now the maps say that it's gonna take me two hours. I don't have that kind of time. I gotta speed up the process. We're going for round two. Ready? Three, two, one. I was super lucky. All right, so we loaded up. I picked up my buddy Alex. He was going to help me with the moving process, but he's never seen the infinite improbability drive. So, you ready to do this thing? Ready? Three, two, one. Made it! So that's it. I'm upstate full time now, and I'm really looking forward to getting back into the shop once I get unpacked. I had a lot of fun making this video. Since I haven't been in the shop over the last couple of weeks, I wanted to challenge myself with doing animations, motion graphics, and visual effects all in one video, and then try and produce the entire thing in one day. Which, mission accomplished. I got done right before midnight and started hitting the upload button. So, if you guys are at all interested in any of the things that I did in here in terms of editing techniques, motion graphic work in After Effects, or the visual effects that I used to make the truck disappear and reappear, let me know in the comments. Since I consider things like video editing and animation and motion graphics part of my making skill, I'd like to know if you guys are interested in learning more. And if not, no worries, I'm going to be getting back into build videos as soon as humanly possible. Thank you again. I'm gonna go make an axe.